Hello, you lads, you lovelies, you everyone in between. So, today I'm going to quickly talk about the prescription inserts for the Pimax Crystal from VR Rock. They were kind enough to send me a pair. Now, they did send it to me for free, and I have an affiliate with them. They've sent me lenses in the past for the 8KX, and on my own, I've purchased their inserts for the Quest 2. Consider this more of a preliminary review since there's at least one major feature that I can't verify works or not. I'll get to it in a second. But first, the basic thing is, is lens reviews are fairly simple. Does it fit reasonably well in the headset? Does it look good? Is there glare? In my experience with VR Rock lenses, and all mine have the blue light filter. I don't know if that does anything, but I have it. And this seems to block blue light. I don't know. Seems fine. And the anti-glare coating. The anti-glare coating definitely seems to be top-notch. The picture is always gorgeous and perfect. That's why I generally like the VR Rock lenses. I've just had good experience with them versus some other companies I've tried in the past. But that can vary between headsets and so on and so forth, right? So, but in my experience, VR Rock lenses have been solid. So the thing about these lenses here is they have a screw and they ship with four screws so there's only two you actually need. There's only one screw hole in the crystal for the lenses. Don't take screw hole out of context. Ew. <laughs> but they just screw in here and then they just sit on top. Worth noting is that there's a, a fairly large gap between the insert lens and the headsets lens. And my theory for that is that this is for the wide FOV lenses. If you've ever seen a picture of them, I had one. I couldn't dig it up. I don't know where it is. But it was thick. Like 2C thick. Very thick lens. But not so thick I wouldn't think it wouldn't fit in here. And that's my theory. I don't know. So these lenses are quite thin and light. Now if you look at say my 8KX lenses, these are thick, thick lenses. They are really thick. That's just sort of the thing with the old AKX though, right? <laughs> it's huge. But these thick lenses, as th thick and interesting as they are, uh, worked really well and didn't impact the FOV very much at all compared to a lot of the other offerings, so I'm told. It's not like I went out and bought every prescription insert for the AKX I could find. The Rock sent me these. It always met my expectation. The only gotcha with these guys is I find I had to use a little bit of tape here in the middle uh, otherwise, sometimes they could fall out of the headset. But a little piece of tape in it just never became an issue. And the visual quality and FOV was always excellent. So these I still recommend. If you have an 8KX or a 5K Super. For the Quest 2, I never actually did a review of these. Because I'm not a Quest 2 channel, really. I have a Quest 2 and I like the little fella. You know, and I wanted some inserts, so I bought some. And these are the ultra-thin ones from VR Rock. And they are indeed very thin, as you'll see. They work good, they look great. Everything's good. You have a little magnetic attachment. I always think that's a bit gimmicky, but it's there and it's fine. These guys don't have any fancy magnetic stuff because we've actually got a screw hole and they give you extra long screws to fit into there perfectly. These lenses are very thin, maybe even thinner, actually, than the ones on the Quest 2. And they actually are labeled nicely left top on the inside so you don't get confused and install these wrong. Installing them is not difficult. I'd recommend you remove the facial interface entirely, though. Just so you have a little bit of extra room. But you can do it without it. Again, there's no problems here. They go in. You screw them in. It comes with a little screwdriver. Those little screwdrivers that everyone ships with aren't fantastic. Although, this did actually fit. The screwdriver actually did fit the screws. Unlike the screwdriver that comes with the Pimax crystal. Although, I just, I just used one of my regular screwdrivers way easier before we get to the eye tracking i'm only guessing i do not have the wide fov lenses or the 42 ppd lenses it looks like there's lots of room in here for such a lens but there may be other reasons for that large gap i don't know without any actual alternative lenses to test with i have no way of actually knowing so that's really just a guess all i can say is with the 35 ppd polycarbonate lenses that i have there's a lot of room in here, and they work great. Alright, now to talk about the elephant in the room. 
The eye tracking. Do these work with the eye tracking? Well, VR Rock says yes, they do. Excellent. Which would make these a pretty great option. Because that way, if you want to switch between wide FOV, standard, or the 42 PPD lenses, depending on when and if we get them, you get to just keep your same inserts. That would be fantastic. That's this flexibility here versus actually getting actual lenses. And I've noticed no glare or anything at all from these. Excellent, perfect shark picture. But does it actually work with the, with the eye tracking? Well, I have no way of knowing. <laughs> and here's the thing. How does VR Rock know? I mean, if the beta testers can't tell you if eye tracking is going to work with these, how would they know? But now, presumably, they've worked with Pimax and produced some kind of specs. Pimax told them how this eye tracking is going to work, and VR Rock made sure that it wouldn't interfere. But it's not like they could test it, I don't think. Could they have? I really have no idea. And of course, Pimax isn't great for communicating with anybody, so they haven't really told us. VR Rock claims these will work just fine with the eye tracking. But, as I said, I cannot confirm this for you. And I've been told in some time late June, we should start to get some eye tracking testing going on. And when that happens, I will update this review right away. I don't think I'll make a new review. It doesn't seem necessary. But I will put a pinned comment talking about whether these work with the eye tracking or not. So stay tuned. I'll probably have a comment in the community section of my channel as well. All right. That's really all there is to say. As of today, these work just fine. Will they work for features or alternate lenses in the future? Right now, I have no way of being able to confirm this to you. And these are fairly expensive lenses. These are not cheap. And as far as the quality goes, I don't think there's anything you could complain about. They're really nice. But I think a lot of people are going to be hesitant to spend a significant amount for inserts that you're going to pay here without knowing rather that it's actually going to interfere with future features of the headset or not. I understand that completely. In fact, I didn't even know that VR Rock was sending me these. Uh, I was holding off to purchase inserts until eye tracking was enabled, but these just showed up in my mailbox one day. They didn't notify me they were sending me these or anything. They just showed up. So like, here, James, James, have some inserts. So, all right. So provided that these do work, at least with the eye tracking, I could say, yes, excellent. Good choice. If they work with the wide FOV or 42 PPD lenses, that's even better. Until we know more, this is really all I can say. As it stands today, they're just fine. But do you want to spend the money before you know that it's going to continue to work with the features that are coming on the crystal? I don't know. I think some caution may be warranted. All right, that's it for now. Lads, lovelies, everyone in between. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.